Hey guys, it's your girl Jalicia, and I'm back with another installment of Jalicia After Dark. This is numero tres. Girl, today we're going to be talking about masturbation. Now, as usual, I will be reading the letter, and then I'm going to give you my feedback, and I implore all of you guys to give your also feedback Also remember that I share the video, put it on your Facebook, retweet it, just help me get the word out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. <laughs> Stay tuned for the letter, guys. Dear Jalicia, I'm a 20-year-old semi-virgin. I say semi, semi because I've had sex one time, but it did not go well. <laughs> I felt nothing, and I was expecting to feel something. Since then, I really haven't messed around with anyone, but I, and I have been thinking about masturbating, but I am so embarrassed and ashamed about it. I've been raised to think that masturbating will send you blind. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do. And... I'm just not versed in it, but I would like to hear your thoughts and learn any advice that you can give me on this, whether it's something I should do or don't do. I love your videos. I love your locks. You're so freaking um, funny. You're so funny, and I love your advice. You keep it real and honest. All right? Help me, Anonymous. Anonymous, I got your back, okay? Okay. Let's get it. Now, the first thing I want to say is... Thank you so much for writing me, of course. I would be glad to help you out with this. And masturbation is something that I think is a bit of a faux pas. And I don't see why. I really don't. But, okay, let's get into it. Now, you said that you've been taught that masturbating makes you go blind. I think everybody's parent or grandparent at one point has heard somebody saying that. That's so funny, but it's so not true. You ain't going blind, girl, or else... Well, I do wear glasses, so what does that say about me? <laughs> Anywho, this is not about me. Anyway, this is what I want to say. I am a firm believer in if you do not know how to please yourself, how do you expect someone else to please you? So I think it's important to touch yourself, to go down there, get a mirror. If you got to take the mirror like this and put it down there and look and see what's going on. I do, and I hope you guys do too because, you know, when you're spreading your legs, I'm going to keep it real. When you're spreading your legs, up, they... The male or female, depending on how you get down, your partner, let me just say that, they see everything. So, you want to, if you want to put your best foot forward, I'm going to just say it like that, and you want to give out, you know, let, let me just say it like this. When you go outside, you make sure your clothes match, you make sure you look nice and presentable, right? You want to make sure downtown looks presentable as well at all times. And definitely smell presentable. So in order to go ahead and groom it and make sure everything's working, functionally, smelling function, you need to get all up in there, okay? All right. Now, I know some of you guys are like, oh my goodness, girls or boys, get with the program, okay? You need to start learning how to please yourself. Now, let me say this. There's no handbook on what to do. I can't just say, you know, a little to the left, a little to the right. It's really based on what your body responds to. What I would suggest, first of all, is getting a good lubricant. Getting something that's oil-free or water-based would be preferable because the closer to water it is, the closer to natural it is. I don't, they might be some natural lubricants, and if it's out there, that's always the best because hypoallergenic and natural ingredients tend to work well with better with a lot of different body chemistries. When you have a lot of chemicals in something, you never know how it could affect your body, pH, balance, and all that stuff. But you get a good lubricant. Some people use Vaseline, I mean, lotion. Men are known for that. Don't act like you don't know that. Hey, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. But I suggest getting a good lubricant and figuring it out. Put it on these two fingers right here and rubbing it around your clit. Um, also, I wouldn't suggest inserting it Especially since you said that you had sex and you really didn't feel anything. So that means that you want to get the juices flowing down there. Also, I think a lot of people need to know this. Women are not like men in, in the aspect of we need to be turned on. A man you can brush up against and he's, you know what I mean? And once he's like this, he's ready to go. That's all he needs. But for women... Even with lubricant, just because you put lubricant on, yeah, it's easy to get in, but doesn't mean that we're feeling anything and we're turned on. What? Listen, if there's any men watching, take it from me. Turn your woman on. I mean, talk dirty to her. You don't have to sit there and eat the, eat the pussy for like six hours. You don't. I mean, for me personally, six hours, I'm like, goodbye. Okay? You don't. No, ma'am. But 
You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be just oral sex or you don't have to be fingering or it, anything. Women are visual and you have to get up here in order to be able to rock down there. That's just the way it is. Now, as far as masturbating techniques, I would suggest laying on your back with your legs spread only because that will give you the most movability, <laughs> able to move around and do different things. I've known people to masturbate on their stomachs, you know, with their one leg up. It just depends on what's comfortable for you. But I definitely am an advocate of getting down there and figuring it all out. Also about masturbation, what I want to say is don't be ashamed about it. Um, feel free to get dildos. I mean, once you, you get acclimated, if you've never done it before, I would suggest just using your fingers. But then you can venture out and there's a lot of toys. There's those little zip vibrators that, you know, they can sell that you can just put a bullet on there. You know, you can get the actual slongs. <laughs> That's what I call them, slongs. Um, it's a lot of different things. And once you get acclimated, I say venture out live explore your sexuality that's what life is about and that's what that's the reason for having a sexuality i mean if if it didn't feel you know what i mean there would be no reason to do it if it didn't feel good it's a reason why it feels good you know what i mean and masturbation is the safest sex that you can have girl so you will have you will wake up with a coke and a smile without needing a coke you know what i mean okay how you doing <laughs> anyway, that's what I would suggest. Also, once you get in there with your fingers and you, you see like, oh, okay, I got this. Oh, okay, I got this. Visit a sex store. You don't have to be in a relationship to go to the sex store. There's a lot of things in there. I, I go sometimes and I see things I've never seen before. And I'm like, what? What? Anyway, but yeah, visit it. You know, if, you, if you're embarrassed to go by yourself, take your friends with you. I'm sure you have one friend that's adventurous and one mind going. That's what I say. Or, come to Athens and I'll go with you, okay? Because we will have a good old time. Because I'll be in there playing with the stuff. You know me, I, I do the most. So, I'm talking to the people. Oh, well. I'm not embarrassed and you shouldn't be either. So, males, also, I say, get all up in it. You know, the thing is, for men, that's how they develop their sexuality. They start playing with that thing. You can see some two-year-olds will be starting to touch their stuff. So, it's just the women that, for some reason, it's a faux pas. And we are here to break that stereotype because we are important. Damn it, we carry the children, we cook them, we deserve to have orgasms. And for you women out there that are not having orgasms, Google your G-Spot right now. Go to another browser, Google your G-Spot and find it. And if you have questions about finding it, inbox me and we will talk about it during Jaleesa After Dark. Okay? Okay. So, those are my thoughts. I hope it was helpful for you. You guys, please, please, please leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Are you for masturbating? Are you not? Do you think it's something that's taboo? What are you, your thoughts on it? If you have any advice for her on any positions or techniques for masturbating that you think work, hey, let's talk about it. Like I said, I'm here to brush down stereotypes and make things more comfortable for us to discuss our sexuality because that is a very big part of who we are. All right? So, comment, like, Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, all right? <laughs> ah, thanks, guys, for watching. I miss you. <laughs> Hugs.